Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I really feel like I didn't get much done last part. <laughs> so, instead, I'm going to do... Uh, actually, I'm going to go back. <laughs> Believe Oh, shoot. Believe it or not. See, uh, there's a, a thing that I can now get since I'm a Zora. So, I'm going to actually go back and go and get that. It's just outside the Im seemingly impenetrable gates, and thank you for the oh, mm, 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 okay. <laughs> so basically, since you've seen the controls of the Zora and stuff like that, you know, you can now sort of kind of understand how to get past certain obstacles that you might have potentially came across on your own. Like, say, a... wait, do you have bombs? I guess not, I guess I'll have to use the bomb mask. But basically, there's this boulder over here. Let's blow it up, let's go inside, and let's get stuff done. <laughs> oh, that does not look friendly. It's a bio, Deku Baba. Just calm down, name carefully. Don't blame me if one hit doesn't get rid of it. So if you cut those thingajiggers... Yeah, like, if you cut in the middle, it'll start walking on two legs. So you might just want to avoid it completely. <laughs> just go down to the bottom here, because at the bottom is... Oh wait, no, maybe I do have to kill him off. Well, well, okay, okay. Well, let's see if I can just aim myself to get... Just directly killing off the head. Because I don't want to hit the body, you know, where the thin part is, because I'll just cut it off and it'll start walking around on the ground. Well, actually, maybe I should show you that. Uh, once at least. Well, hmm. 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 I thought that- oh, I forgot one, that's right, it's at, uh... It's at... Oh, maybe I didn't forget one. Was it at- Oh, the beehives! Yeah, I forgot about the beehives. Yes, the beehives. It wasn't those critters, it was the beehives. And up oh, there, it dropped down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you see what dropped down? Let's grab it. Let's increase our heart containers up to ten. And let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, so I guess clearing out the plan <clears throat> the plants might be a good idea in a way. Uh, because it'll sort of kind of make things easier getting down there. But I just want to show you really quick here what it's like when they're walking on their own legs and yeah when they're going off like that and when you knock them down like that excuse me then oops I didn't mean to do that ah! dive 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 so yeah now they're roaming around down here and that's how they roll they're kinda stuck though for some reason <laughs> they're a lot tougher to defeat like this than when you are at uh, when you just kill them just by straight at the head so, try and go for the head like I was going for, okay? Okay, let's move on. <laughs> and, can I ride the- I don't think I can ride the horse as a Zor- Oh, wait, 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 no. Ah, oh, that's right, I can't. Aha, that's what I thought. Alright, let's move on. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this without having to back up. Oh, okay, thank you for be being cooperative, Anope. I appreciate it. So, okay, we actually got something- something else done there. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Since we uh, did misleading land, we can now go into actual progress land. And... down we go. <laughs> you can only get off when you're completely stopped for some reason. Uh, you can't, like, do jump-offs Shadow of the Colossus style. <laughs> uh, Pirates Cove ahead. Tourists are not welcome! Oh, man. Well, we're not a tourist, we're here on business, so let's just take a look-see around here and see what we can find. Well, say, we're, say we, let, we decided to go by these two pillars over here. Someone is going to appear just out of nowhere, like, just popping out of nowhere. It's amazing. Just watch us, watch us. Right to the center. And there he is! <laughs> and hey, how's it going? Meow haven't you seen any gold colored fish around here? Gold colored fish know this area very well. I was thinking of getting one to guide me to Pinnacle Rock. If the water wasn't so murky, I wouldn't have to rely on the guidance from a gold colored fish. So, again, with that murky water issue, well, if you go through here, you'll actually be transported to a different area. This doesn't make much sense because if you go 
anywhere but between those two pillars, you'll automatically get pushed over to the shore. But now if you take a look, see at the sign here, and see the water's getting murkier. See snakes lair ahead, do the murky water, caution is advised for all who enter! Well, let's just go on ahead here and see if we can get through on our own! We cannot! Well, actually we could if we know if we knew the path, but... Yes, we, 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 we don't. Actually, I do, but... Let's just, let's just assume I don't, just for the sake of... The, the way that the, they want to do things in the game. No, 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 I want to speak, not swim. Ah, uh, controls. I heard that the pirates are attacking. They see you up something precious there. Don't you wonder what it was, Macau? We'd have to get through that murky water to look for it. Where are all the gold cutter fish and we need them? So we got a hint that there's something good going on over there, but... We don't know how to actually get through there. Well, I do, but still. You don't know, and we gotta go through this anyway, so let's just go and plop on around through here and see what is up, just for kicks, because why now? We can go through the seaweed without any sort of slowing down whatsoever. And uh, someone around here I thought hints that there's a, a weak spot in the wall here. Uh, I, I thought someone hinted at that, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait! Uh, oh, oh, oh! Oh, no. <laughs> Well who, well, who around here hinted at that? Hmm... I thought it was another Zora, actually. Hmm... Hmm... Was it you, Mr. Sheikah Stone-ish? No, it's not a Sheikah Stone, it's... It's a... a gossip Stone. What do I... Wait, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. I was like, what am I looking for? Something that holds milk! Oh, is that so? Is that so? Now over here is another sort of side quest that you need a certain hookshot and a certain scarecrow to do, so... No way I can do that now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna look around for that Zora that I think will give the hint just for the sake of showing you stuff. So hold on a sec. I cannot find it for the life of me. So you know what, I'm just gonna go and just do it. <laughs> maybe I'll come across him in the future. Uh, but basically there's these... Oh, maybe it's Tattle that tells me. Hey, hang on, does this look a little strange? Um, I sorta, kinda, maybe. Then let's just... See, it's just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Hey, hang on, does this look a little strange? So, okay, basically if you ram into it like that, you'll open up a passageway. There's, you can bash through the other ones as well, but yeah, um, yeah, that's the only one that opens up, so <laughs> that's the one I went for. I mean, well, the other ones do break, but these are the only ones that actually lead anywhere. So, I should say the only one that leads anywhere. I cannot speak anywhere. So here we are, Pirate's Fortress, and we need our pictograph box to get ourselves set up here for the future. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, that'll do, actually, I think. I think it will. <laughs> I really hope it will. Um, wait, I don't wanna... I don't wanna get out... I think that for the future. And look out for the pirates, because if they see you, they'll throw you out. Which sucks, because like, it'll actually chuck you right back into the bay. And now you're going to see that there's a couple of treasure chests roaming around on the map here. So I might as well just kind of go ahead and open them up, just because why not? It's a red rupee, that means it's 20 rupees. Let's go to this treasure chest now over here. Also beware of the skullfish that are hanging out around here. But... Uh, I'm pretty sure that all these chests are optional, so you don't really have to get these if you don't feel like it. I'm just kind of getting them for the sake of getting them. Because, uh, yeah, I think it's all just rupees. Red rupees. Not to be confused with the restaurant. Um, hmm. 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 I think it's underneath this, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Nope, nope, nope. Clunky, clunky, clunky. Okay. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do underwater other than just kind of flail around. Just hope that you don't... I mean, and hope that you'll be able to shoot what you're trying to shoot. So, 
you're gonna notice over here there's this thing of bobber here just like ah, I can't go through there's too much current well there's actually another way in besides that we gotta kind of go up here we gotta not get seen here so we're just gonna kind of shimmy our way along here nice and cautiously here and if you'd like to wait around you just kind of press the B button up on this ledge and you'll just sit down and wait for a boat to pass and then you just go up see doodle and around oh oh shoot I waited too long and that's why it sucks if you get caught okay let's try it again oh wait wait hold on hold on hold on you weren't here before you were not here before I know you were not stop disappearing on <laughs> ah Macau what are you doing in a place like this this is the ominous pirates fortress I don't think you get too close ah but I'm okay um, you're as close as you can get without actually being in it. Well, actually, the pirates in this forest are all women, and better yet, I hear they're all gorgeous. <laughs> so I thought maybe I should check them out. Well, wow, don't look at me like that. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I just waited until the boat passed, and there we go. Now we're technically out of sight, even though we should be quite visible. But yeah, that's out of the pirate's sight there, believe it or not. Now you'll see... We gotta switch masks because we can't pound that unless we're a Goron, so let's just plop that down, curl, and slam. Remember those switches from the second dungeon? Yeah, alright. Switch back to the Zora. Don't get caught jumping back in the water. I think that the. Yeah, it's back his turn there. There we go. And we dive deep so they can't see whatsoever. This is like an exit route more than anything, actually. The thing that we're looking to get into is actually over here. See, oh, you get out of my way. See, there's another gate over here that was not open before, but now it's open, and this is the one we open. Heck yeah. Stop spawning, dang it. <laughs> Alright, we are in. We have infiltrated the fortress. Ish. There's still much more to go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, in order to push the block, you gotta press the B button to get down on the ground. And I think we need to pull it, actually, come to think of it. I just want to take a look-see through here before I move on. Uh, yes, that is correct. Oh, wait, hold on. I, oh, shoot. What am I... I need a surface dot... I need to do, like, a swim and then... Ah! Yeah, the controls just... It's, it's a little bit awkward because of the way that you gotta surface and swim and then yeah just mash the A button twice to get into that position really quick and then press the R button anyway this se section in the center here you can't actually yeah you can't actually access from through the other pathways you just gotta kind of go over it instead so that's the way it's done and let's go down over here. This is a lot better than the iron boots in uh, Ocarina of Time, I must have, I must say. <laughs> I don't need to push it that much. And this one, as I said, I had to have the other way. Because this is kind of like a blocked route otherwise. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Let's go up and out. Now, um... Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I want to go... There we go. <laughs> Now, what you gotta look out for is that, see, there's, there's these mines here, which explode if you kind of mess with them. There's this other thing here, is that you, if you get through, if you get swept through that, you'll be pushed out that exit that we've seen on the way in here. So don't get through that. I mean, don't go through that. Because otherwise you're gonna have to start this all over and it's gonna suck. So, yeah, to prevent suckage, you wanna just avoid that and move on. <laughs> this is how things roll, I guess. Yeah, I got another uh, Zora slash Goron area, I guess you could say. And there's a treasure chest over here. And there we go. Voila. Oh, that rupee. Heck yeah. Oh, I forgot. Do you have to buy the map for the Pirate's Fortress? I don't remember if you have to or not. Hmm. Because that might be why we're, not, why we're not seeing any map on the inside of here. This is a heart piece over there. I know how to get that heart piece. First transform. 
break these suckers out of your way. You can do this in the 3DS version by just uh, being a Zora and going behind those. Um, but in here, oh wait, that's not the thing that I was looking for. But you do have to race to that. Um, so maybe I forgot where it is. <laughs> Let's break these instead. I think this might actually be what I'm looking for. Yeah, they were. <laughs> hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, hurry. It closes quick. It closes quick. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Heck yeah. And then you open this. And it also closes pretty quick, but... Well, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so since I did that... Let's go ahead and whack that, open that up, and go in the water, swim, don't touch the mines, of course, and then we go through here. There's another exit type shaft here, so instead of being below, you want to go above, and I think I want to go, oh, pfft. I nicked it. <laughs> okay, that was more than nick, really. Okay, we have safely avoided it. And we are off! By off I mean up! Is the sh screen gonna shrink on me? I don't think it will. No, I think it's only at the end of the... Uh... Oh wait, hold on. Do I have to be like... On that? No, no, I have to hit that switch and get on here. And hit this. Ah! Oh, yeah, it has to be quick enough. Yeah, I remember that now. I remember that now. Okay. Boop. There we go. By standing on here, you can, you'll can you be pushed up on this water spout. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way up just yet, though, because I can use the ladder for that anyway. I just want to kind of explore stuff over here really quick, if you don't mind. By the way, in case you don't realize, this is like a mini dungeon of sorts, so... <laughs> uh, let's go up. I said, let's go up. There we go. And this is what I said that the water spout would push you up to reach anyway. So yeah, you can now go take a look see over here on this side. If you wanna take a peek see oops. If you wanna take a peek see, I was, was gonna say press C up. Uh, you press C right on the C stick and I mean I uh, C left on the C stick instead. Yeah, see there's that stuff over there. Well what you wanna do here is kinda get them to collide with each other. Um oh. Oh, uh, okay. That that, that somehow worked, and oh shoot, I didn't mean to fall off. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I just wanted to shoot the switch. Not <laughs> Come on, come on. Well, actually, before I shoot the switch, let's do this here. This is a telescope type giblet here. You can take a peek see around here to see what's coming. Yeah, you got some more of the stealthy solid snake guards to deal with here, like we did on the outside area. Yeah, it's just basically a way to kind of plan your route in the future, I suppose. And, oh shoot, that actually reset those... Now why would they do that? Why would they... Why would they reset those just because I used the telescope to look into a different area? That is so dumb. Uh, no, 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 I, I, I was pressing forward, so which, since the camera switched me around, it made me push up to climb the ladder upwards. Polish. <laughs> Alright, now we got sort of a kind of a checkpoint of sorts because after you get, if, like, if we were to get thrown out, we'll only get thrown out up onto this ledge here, I do believe. So that's it's kind of handy. And there's a little target up there for the future, too. Keep that in mind for the sake of shortcuts should you need them. And we are going to go through here to make more progress on this mini dungeon in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.